All right, I'm standing here with Mark Ernst from American Honda, large project leader for the uh, 2016 Honda Pilot. You worked on the t 2009 Pilot as well, and you were you were one of the uh, was it a test engineer? Yeah, or? I was one of the I was the leader of the testing for that that model. Okay, so um, there's a lot of new things in the 2016 model. Um, maybe you can tell us about some of the the changes for this model here. Okay, this is a this is a great new vehicle. Um, we had a, it, it's still a family vehicle, so it, it maintains the eight passenger seating, uh, but we also wanted to address all the needs of the family. So we tried to improve fuel economy, uh, acceleration performance, but the utmost important importance is safety. So we, it all starts with the body and designing a body that's super strong, uh, super lightweight, but also efficient. Uh, some of the key technologies in our safety performance, uh, the red area here is our ACE body structure. It really is one of the load paths for several of the great um, crash tests and it, it, it's designed to direct the load, to manage the load paths. Going to this, the blue area is the ultra high strength steel safety ring and this is really what protects the, the, the occupants from all direction uh, loading. But it's also lightweight, so ultra high strength steel is, uh, is super strong. Uh, super rigid, but also a uh, lightweight. And we added a lot of lightweight technologies, like the hood is made out of aluminum, and the steering hanger beam uh, is made out of magnesium. Okay, yeah, so I think we've seen that in another product previously, possibly it was at the MDX, had the magnesium beam there. Um, how much weight are we talking in terms of reduction? Uh, this vehicle, compared to the outgoing model, it's, it's almost 300 pounds lighter. And compared to some of our competitors, uh, we have uh, over an 800 pound advantage in weight. And again, weight leads to fuel economy, but also to acceleration performance. Right, so on top of the weight reduction, their engine's quite a bit stronger this year as well, right? You added direct injection, I think we're up 30 horsepower, is that correct? Yeah, I mean, this is one of our Earth Dreams Technologies uh, engines. It's a 3.5 liter, but now direct injected uh, V6 uh, with VTEC and VCM, the variable cylinder management. Uh, it goes in six-cylinder mode, but also in three-cylinder mode when it's appropriate for better fuel economy. It is up 30 horsepower to 280, and up uh, nine foot-pounds of torque up to 262. And that results not only in better performance, but a couple miles per gallon fuel economy as well. Is that correct? That's right. Compared to the outgoing model, um, you know, it's outfitted. Uh, the best model is up uh, two miles per gallon city and two miles per gallon highway in, in the uh, labeling method. Pretty solid, um, and size-wise, I mean, I think I read it's some close to four inches longer, three point something. We designed the vehicle to be a lot more sleek and modern and athletic and sophisticated, but just because it looks that way doesn't mean it lost any capability and it didn't lose any size. It's three and a half inches longer, and we used that space in in the right ways to best uh, benefit the customer. On the front end, it's about an inch longer up front to improve our crash performance. It's about an inch and a half between the wheels, mm -hmm. which gives you better passenger space and also better uh, ingress and egress to the third row. It seems like the third row itself has a bit more leg room, is that right? It does have a bit more leg room. It's a lot more comfortable back there and it's easy to get back there. Okay. Yeah, you have the, the push button thing, which I think we have some clip we can cut in here and show that, but uh, you push the button seat tilts forward and slides. And right. The, the, the pilot features a, a, a brand new uh, second row seat function. It's a, a one-touch walk-in feature. So there's a, there's a button on the side and a button on the back of the second row seat. Uh, when you open the doors at night, it lights up so it's easy to find it. Uh, then when you push it, the seat automatically folds and slides forward to open up the, the space where you can get into the third row seat. So even a child can do it by themselves. Cool. And before I forget, um, there are two transmissions now in this model. You have a six-speed automatic and a new nine-speed, and I believe there's five trim levels, starting with LX, EX, EXL, and then you go on a Touring and Elite, and the top two get the nine-speed. Is that correct? That's right. So that great new engine is paired with the two transmissions. There's a six-speed automatic. Uh, the outgoing model had a five-speed automatic. So that six-speed has a lower first gear, a taller top gear, and evenly spaced for really smooth shifting. We also have the nine-speed. Now with the nine-speed automatic, it comes with our uh, electronic push-button shifter, mm -hmm. 
uh, paddle shifters in the steering wheel for quick shifting, and also idle stop te technology for even better fuel economy. Cool. So, um, anything else you'd like to expound upon or expand upon with the, uh, the pilot here? So it's all about safety, but it's also about dynamic safety for the family. And this is all about safety and convenience. So uh, this has an all new uh, four -wheel, all wheel drive system. It's our new IVTM4 with torque vectoring. And we pair that with a completely new thing called intelligent traction management. So you just push a button on the center console and it cycles through a sand, snud, sand, <laughs> <laughs> sand, mud, or snow mode. And that specific tuning of the drive-by-wire the transmission, the all-wheel drive system, and the traction control to give you the best possible combination depending on what conditions you're in. Right, and I understand the two-wheel drive model still has a traction management system, but it only gives you normal and snow, is that correct? That's right. Okay, and you, you just mentioned <clears throat> the IVTM has uh, some torque vectoring. Um, what degree of torque vectoring are we talking here? So, not everybody does torque vectoring the same way, and right. all of our competitors do torque vectoring by brake. So they have an open differential and they break the inside tire, which uh, kind of robs a lot of the torque and momentum out of the vehicle, but it does allow you to turn a little bit. So our torque vectoring is with a dual clutch system, transferring the torque to the rear, uh, up to 70% of the torque to the rear and, and up to 100% side to side um, of that t available torque. It drives the outside tire. Now that can help you in all kinds of conditions. In low mu, in low speeds, it can really turn you. Mm -hmm. But it also works at high speed, like on an entry ramp onto a highway. Mm -hmm. So there's handling and performance benefits, as well as traction benefits. That's right. And it's all about safety and convenience in all kinds of weather conditions. Now, is this a um, hydraulic clutch pack system or electromagnetic? It's a, it's a hydraulic clutch pack, okay. electronically controlled, yeah. Okay. So uh, apologies, it's getting dark here, but um, he's going to show us a little bit about the cargo, the, the reconfigurable cargo area and uh, how the lid reverses and everything. That's right. So uh, the main thing about it is you want to be able to accommodate cargo as much as you can and, uh, and make it simple, easy to use so that uh, the people don't have to do a bunch of different configurations or they don't have to store anything back in their garage. So we got this new lightweight reversible cargo lid. On one side, it's a carpet. On the other side, it's an easy to clean uh, plastic surface. It also has two positions. It can be in the upper position where this is all hidden storage. It also locks into place in the lower position for maximum storage capability. You can put an 82 quart cooler in the back here without affecting any of your third row passenger space. It's pretty easy, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and like I said, you don't have to get rid of it and leave it in the garage. Right. So it's nice to have that extra space. And then this is the kind of thing where if you had uh, ski boots or something like that, you could just throw them in there and it's and it's easy muddy, to clean later. Muddy soccer cleats. Right, exactly. Cleats. Uh, and it's also a good way to manage the groceries. Right. You know, you can just put them in there and they don't fall out. Right. Especially yeah. if you're parked on a driveway that has a slant. Right. Um, now it's kind of hard to see in this lighting, but we're showing a pilot over here which has a trailer attached and it looks like a pretty fun vehicle sitting on that trailer but um, I noticed when I glanced through the specs that the uh, tow ratings have gone for both the two-wheel drive the two-wheel drives up I think 1500 pounds to 3500 and the uh, all-wheel drives up to 5000 from 4500 so what did you guys do to improve the towing capacity well we have a, a lighter weight a better engine more horsepower more torque uh, we also added trailer stability assist, oh. so that's another nice feature that really adjusts as you drive to keep it stable when you're driving down the road. So this is a, a much better capability, a much easier to drive, much easier to use um, with the trailer uh, hitch than the outgoing model. I think, I believe that was also on the ridge line as well, is that correct, the uh, trailer assist? Yep. It is something that we've, we've developed and then we continue to apply and continue to improve as we, as we go along. Now, is there a brake controller as well, or is that like a dealer accessory possibly? That would be a dealer accessory. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, it looks like pretty comprehensive upgrade for the 2016 model year. Better fuel economy. We haven't driven it yet, so we don't know, but we assume better performance, probably quieter. Yeah, it is a lot quieter. Yeah. There's a lot of things we did there. We have acoustic windshield. The front doors have acoustic glass. The rear door glass is thicker. 
Um, it's got triple door seals, improved carpet with better insulation. It's a lot quieter, so it's the kind of thing we're really trying to get it down to the road and cabin noise quite enough so you can have conversations easily right. inside the vehicle. Even third row to first row. That's right, exactly. Yeah. So uh, underbody aero management, I assume, is probably part of that equation. Um, you guys do the felt liners or anything under the in the wheel wells or? Oh, uh, we uh, no, we don't have those. Okay, okay. We do have one more question. Okay. And I noticed you have a Give it blue to a blue pilot here. Yes, look at that. But it it's, it looks great, but it's not the same blue which we saw at the auto show. And we really had a lot of questions from our viewers. Can we have that blue in the production pilot? It's not exactly the same blue. Uh, this is the closest we have to that. We've got eight great colors. We've got some new, uh, exciting new colors, a great hunter green. It's a dark green. Uh, at nighttime, it looks kind of black. In the daytime, it's got gold flecks in it. It looks awesome. Uh, we continually refine our, our colors. It's based on our factory capability and what we can do. Um, but this is the closest to the sh auto show blue that we have for right now. Okay, so I will say it looks good. It reminds me of the, uh, the blue shade that was on the first generation pilot. I don't, I don't remember if you had it in the second generation. Maybe you remember. I, I think we didn't. Okay. So, but it, if anybody's wondering, it, I think it, I'm, I think I'm right. It looks a lot like the one that was on the first generation, but so anyway, you guys will see when it hits the showrooms. Uh, it, it looks good. It's not quite, doesn't quite have the pop of the uh, show car, but maybe we can convince them. We got some great color stylists, so they always like to hear feedback. That's right. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Thank you very much.